Why are you throwing that punch? And why are you using that defense movement? That's what you've got to ask yourself. You've got to have a purpose behind those punches. And you've got to have a purpose behind the defense stuff. Otherwise, you become an, an automatic robot pilot, which is pointless. Because we're people, and if you're fighting, the person in front of you is unpredictable. So you need to be constantly thinking on your feet while you're fighting and have a reason and a purpose to throw a punch or a reason and a purpose to throw that or use that defense movement. So if you think when you're doing it on the pads and on the bag, don't just throw punches aimlessly at the bag or in shadow boxing like I've talked about before. There has to be a purpose for it. Okay, I'm throwing the jab because it's going down the middle of that target. I'm throwing the hoop because they're bringing their hand forwards. And it's the same when it comes to sparring and fighting. Don't just throw punches aimlessly. Watch, my eyes are on you the whole time. I'm going to throw a hook because you're open for the hook. Not because I just want to throw the hook. I want to throw a straight shot down the middle because you're open for that straight shot down the middle. I want to throw that body shot because your body is wide open. Think about why you're throwing the shot. Think about combinations that will work. And if that combination is not working when you're sparring, then adapt it. You might throw a jab, cross, roll underneath, and you had planned throwing a cross back, but actually, you might then realize that that left hook has become available because they've dropped their hand, their right hand down, and then you might want to lamp that that hook through instead of the planned cross. So you've got to be adaptable when you're boxing. You've got to be constantly thinking. So that is why when you're boxing on the bag and you're boxing in shadow boxing and in sparring, you're thinking all of the time, why am I throwing this punch? I'm throwing it because there's a target to hit. And I want to get that target flush on the chin or in the stomach. I want to win that person. I want to connect with their jaw there because their hands down. Look at people's openings. If they've got their hands up like this, hit them in the body. If they've got their hands like that, like that, this is where you want to get it. If you've got the hand like that, this is where you want to hit it. If they've got a wide a guard where you can punch through the middle, punch through the middle. Don't just punch under their hands. Because if they've got a target there, hit the target, which is their face, their body. The target isn't their guard. There's certain circumstances where you want to hit their guard a little bit to bring it down to where their arm's down, and maybe they, hitting their guard might open up another shot. But again, you're pre-planning, you're pre-thinking, you're watching what your opponent is doing. You're thinking, if I hit them with that, I know they drop their, their hand there, so then I can use that shot. You've got to read it, either the chess game. You've got to pre-think, but that, that pre-thinking might have to adapt because that person might have done a move that you didn't expect. And it's the same with defense work. I'm slipping and moving around this way because I know that my opponent is open on this side. Okay. I know that I need to get them by the ropes, so I need to slip or roll and move around to this side to get you against the ropes. And then once I've got you by the ropes, I'm going to keep you there. And I'm going to use my slips so you can't hurt me and you can't catch me with that punch. But I can come back with a counter punch. There's a reason for everything in boxing. Really think about being purposeful about every single move. Be mindful about what you're doing in boxing. And that is the beauty. There's so much skill to learn in boxing and so much thinking to do.